Hello everybody and welcome to this uh, Unity Shader Graph uh, tutorial. Uh, in this tutorial, uh, we will be working on uh, some of the uh, cards back of the uh, Hearthstone game. So uh, we'll select some and uh, we'll try to uh, um, study how it is uh, done and uh, also uh, we'll make it using uh, Unity Shader Graph. So uh, the first card we'll be uh, working on is the uh, mountain core. So uh, this is the card. As you see here, um, we have uh, effect into the card, like it's um, the lava is moving to all directions, and we have some uh, displacement, which is very small. It's not uh, visible. Uh, not I think over here. Uh, and the uh, this, uh, logo. Okay, let's uh, start. So let's close this. Okay, so um, I prepared the scene so we don't waste time on uh, just importing objects. So um, the scene ha uh, is containing um, the model of the uh, the car pack and um, just an image to uh, to give the feeling that we are inside the game. Okay. So let's align the uh, view to the camera. Okay, so um, we'll uh, use this uh, material which is I created this by default, this default material. And um, let's create a shader. So we'll select the unload shader, we'll call it. Molten core, let's say tutorial. Okay, and um, let's select our shader on uh, the material. Yeah, and let's open. Okay, so here is our empty shader. Let's just make it smaller. Okay. So um, to start with the process, um, uh, we need to use this uh, texture to um, set up our effect. So uh, first of all, we'll bring the uh, main texture. Okay, and let's link it to the output. Here we can like select the mesh we are using for the card pack to see the result. Yeah, so this is, this is how it looks like. Okay, let's zoom out a little bit. Yeah, so this is the main texture. And we have also the mask which is we'll use to mask the effect on the area and we also uh, will need the uh, flow map which is we'll use okay so um, let's start building the uh, effect so we uh, will have to use the flow map which is we use it last and the end last uh, tutorials same one and in the flow map we we'll need to give um, the um, the uh, the map of the I mean the, the texture for the uh, flowing uh, lava so um, we'll be using this uh, texture which is called fixed plasma bring it away okay so we will link this to the RGBA. Okay, we'll um, we need to bring it as a um, uh, texture asset. So this is the one because the uh, flow map is accepting uh, texture asset, not uh, not simple texture to the 
Okay, so we have the uh, the texture set to the floor map. Let's delete this here underneath, and let's give the mask now. We'll provide the floor map. Then we'll give some values over here, some default values. Let's say speed 0.02, 1, 0, 0.05. This is for the offsets, and um, now we what we see here is not the effect what we need. So first of all, we need to specify the UV for this. So uh, to do that, we actually will be uh, giving the same uh, flow map to the UV as well. So uh, what we will do, we will uh, just duplicate this. And give it to the UV. Okay. And one more thing we have to do, because this both are getting um, the texture from the same source, we will be selecting, uh, we'll be duplicating this uh, uh, source uh, texture. And then we'll select the flow map we are using. This is guide back flow map. And then we'll link it to both of them. So this uh, nodes will be only resampling from the source texture. Okay. Mm, and why we did both? I mean, we, did, we can we could like link uh, this to both uh, entries. But um, why we uh, did uh, two uh, nodes because we are we, get, we are gonna using the different UVs on both. Okay, so um, on this one we will have to create a new node, new tiling node, either tiling and offset node. So we'll link it, and I have some predefined values. These I have saved over here, so it's. 0 0.3, 0 0.3, and you can see here um, the how it looks like. 0 .33, 0 .33. So it's just zooming. I, I zoom the uh, over the uh, flow map and uh, make it uh, in center. Okay. So um, also here we have to tweak the values. This is uh, 0 0.08. This we have to slow it a little bit. Like we give it, uh, it should be minus first of all, 0 0.008. Mm, actually, it is 0 0.08. Okay. So now let's um, add the effect on top of the uh, original image and see what will happen. So let's create an add. And we'll add this to this. Then we link the uh, result to the output. Okay, as we see here, the effect is not what we want. Still, we have to pick few parameters. The few parameters which is uh, with touch. First of all, let's apply apply the mask. before we do the add. Okay. So to apply the mask we need the multiply node and multiply this to the blue because the blue is the mask for the area of the lava. Okay. Then we link it to the add node. Okay, so we have we have the mask is working. Pretty good. So actually, we are using the uh, wrong um, texture over here. It's not uh, this one we should use. We should use the vertical one, which is. It's called. FX plasma, so FX plasma vertical. This is the one. Yeah. 
and as you see now we have the effect it's going on all direction but still um, we have to adjust the colors so um, let's give it the color so uh, we got the tint RGB node and we'll create a color node okay let's move this back then let's change the uh, type to the HDR and uh, let's select our orange color so before we continue on changing the color let's link it so we see what we are doing okay so here uh, is our color let's increase the HDR yeah so like this is fine and then we can play with the color let's make it like this Let's increase HDR a little bit. Yeah. So we can go for this color and increase HDR not too much. Yeah, like this is fine, right? Okay. So uh, also we can um, add a displacement over here. Let's save uh, first of all our uh, shader. So we can see the result in the uh, game uh, view. Okay, we have here our uh, effect, and um, we can add a little displacement on this uh, main texture. So to do that, we will be adding a new node, which is displacement node. So you will be displacement. Yeah, displacement UV. Okay. So in this displacement uh, UV, we will assign uh, the uh, multiply of, I mean the result of the um, the flowing map with the mask. So we'll move this forward. Let's select this and move it forward. So we'll get the result of the masked flow map and we'll give it to the UV okay and this UV should be uh, set up before we link this normally so um, we'll have to, to grab the normal UV because um, this is uh, this UV is by default 0, zero so it's, it's changing the whole UV of the uh, main um, texture so let's grab a UV, original UV, and give it this, yeah. And let's give a value for this uh, displacement. Let's say 0 0.3. This is too much. So 0 0.03. Okay, let's save it and see the effect let's see the effect okay so the distortion is working we see it over here i mean the displacement okay now it looks good so uh, this is the effect we um, almost uh, did the same as in the game and uh, that's it. Thank you for uh, uh, following up with this tutorial and uh, see you on the next one.